This is a short presentation to show you how my test works. I'll start by signing in. I've ordered two test products, one in Subject CT1 and one in Subject CT7. I think I'll try some economics today, CT7. This screen shows me the progress that I've made to date on each part of the course. I'll start a new test. I can select either to do questions drawn from the whole of the CT7 course or just from a particular part. I'm going to choose part 1 and select 5 questions. I'll have a go now at answering the questions. This particular question is a short answer question. I can jot down an answer on some paper or just think it through in my head and then click on show me to see whether I got it right or wrong. I'm not sure my answer was quite detailed enough so I'm going to click on I got it wrong and go to the next question. If I'm not sure about a particular question, I can leave it and come back to it later. The question grid highlights the questions that I've not yet attempted. I'll go back and tackle question 4. I also have the option to suspend the test and resume it later if I get interrupted by something. But this particular test is finished, so let's see how I did. This screen shows me which questions I got correct and incorrect. I'm going to review one of the questions that I got incorrect. I can now see the option that I should have gone for, as well as an explanation of the correct solution. The information icons give extra notes for a particular option. And often highlight common misunderstandings or where you may have gone wrong in your thinking. To review another question, I could click on Previous or Next or go back to the Summary page. If I go back to the CT7 Online Tests page, I can see the progress made since I last looked. My test is intelligent or adaptive in that it keeps a note of how I've done on each question and it will bring up the questions that I got incorrect more often in the future than the ones that I got correct. This helps me to fill in the gaps in my knowledge. From here I can either start a new CT7 test, or return to the home page and try a CT1 test, or log out. I hope this video has been helpful. There is also a frequently asked questions document on the ACTED website.